What's up, guys? A very good morning from Santa Barbara. I got here yesterday around 1 am, and well, today I would like to introduce you to some people I've met a couple years ago in Spain, Barcelona. So, uh, this is where I've been sleeping last night. Such a great house. And uh, yeah, right now I am going to introduce you to uh, Brent. Hi guys! Hey! hey. Good morning! Welcome to California! Thank you so much, uh, Michelle. <laughs> so, can you introduce yourself, guys? Yes, I'm Michelle from California and we met Anthony in Barcelona in 2019. And we live in Santa Barbara, California. Yeah. Great! Mm -hmm. So... Welcome to our home. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. <laughs> so Michelle right now, thank you so much uh, Michelle. Yeah. She's going to show me around the house. The garden. It uh, seems to be very big, eh? Yes, it wow. is. And how long have you been living here? We've been here for 20 years. 20 years? Yes. Wow. So what a beautiful house, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. So this is where I slept yesterday. Oak tree, and this is where we sleep. Okay. So this is where you slept yesterday. This is your room. Yes. Okay. Yes, this is our bedroom. Wow. This is where somebody else is. And this is our garden. What a place. Okay. So it's the end of the year, so we don't have very much, but we have lettuces. So this is tomatoes, yeah? Uh, tomatoes, yeah, but they're almost done. And then we have peppers. Yeah. And the spinach, which somebody's eating. You can see. <laughs> Who do you think is eating the spinach? Um, probably a little bug. Okay. Yeah. And then there's the cat. There's Hobbs. Oh. <laughs> this is Here his yard. Cat, yeah. Hi. <laughs> and how old is he? He's 11. 11. He just turned 11. And then we have lettuces. Which we're gonna have for dinner. Okay, wow. This is butter lettuce. And then over here we have romaine lettuce. And how long have you been doing permaculture? The farmer, the market here? Yeah. Or the, the garden? Yes, yeah, the garden. For about six years. About six years. And yeah. then we just, we used to have a big tomato cage with the bamboo and we just broke it down. So now we just have a few onions. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of a in between seasons. Yes, yeah, sure. And then we have uh, chives and thyme. And then, yeah. then we have another. So this tomato is still, still growing. This okay, is okay. kind of our last one. And how long does it take to grow the tomatoes? Um, it's usually about three months. Three months, yeah. yeah. But right now it's kind of the weather's getting cooler. Yeah. So we had all these were all tomatoes. Oh wow. And we just pulled it up because it once it gets cool they don't get sweet enough yeah yeah yeah. and then I have my persimmon tree which I'm very happy about because it's my first year I've had persimmons yeah <laughs> you got some fruits or no yeah this is persimmon yeah the orange uh-huh okay and I don't really know what it is oh it's good it's like a it's sweet yeah it's like an apple okay but it's but sweeter mm -hmm. yeah wow yeah. and this is and apple we have yeah? a, this is a pomegranate oh, okay like in Morocco oh wow yeah so my first one <laughs> I've ever had you are definitely blessed eh? yeah you so. got a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Wow. So, but right now it's kind of uh, in between season. Yeah. So we just have the ter uh, tarragon. You also have a small basketball field, yeah? It's not, yeah, it's like, a, we call it a half court. Half it's court. A half basketball court. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a place on earth. I know. So very... I thought it would be so nice for you to like come up and... Yeah, it's very peaceful, you know? Yeah, it's very nice and quiet. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this guys. Is when, you say when we come home, this is what we do. We come out when we travel. We're traveling, but when we come home, we, we're out here in the garden. Oh, this is arugula, which is not real big, but. Okay. Um, but yeah, then we come out and we do our gardening, and yeah. he and our son will play <laughs> basketball, and yeah. he gets beat bad because <laughs> our son's not, tall he's big he's yeah. tall he's, yeah, he's big taller he's, than me almost no he's big and strong now though. he's oh, almost okay. as tall as Brent. oh wow he's about how tall are you i think uh 190 
Yeah, 196, and he's 193. And in the U.S., like you said, six foot? Six oh. foot. So he's six foot three, yeah. and he's six foot four. Five. Okay. Well, you are five, but... Four and a half. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> yeah. great. And then this is Thai basil. Mm -hmm. Parsley. How does it smell? It's like basil, but Taste it's a little... We can test it, mm -hmm. yeah? Of course. I just it's, take a it's leaf. It's like basil, but it's a little more spicy. So it's really good for Thai food. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit spicy. Yeah. yeah, it's a little spicy. Wow. Yeah. And then we'll pick... And what is that? Basilic or pardon? This is parsley. It's parsley. And, parsley. Then parsley. I'm gonna... and then that's, that's sweet Italian basil, so you can taste the difference. Yeah. But this I'm going to pick for tonight because if you pick it in the afternoon, it's not... it's hot. So it's better to pick it in the morning when wow. the lettuce is more crisp. And when you are away, who is taking care of the garden? Well, when we go, like when we leave in the winter, we're going to pull everything up and just not have anything. Okay. Because it's too much to upkeep. Um, the beauty of traveling in the winter yeah. is nothing's really growing too much anyway. So, but wow. like this will all be pulled when we travel. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What a place, eh? Yeah. Those are sweet onions. They didn't finish growing. There was, this was all built here. All this structure was big and we had, all this was tomatoes. And yeah. So I just planted some onions underneath. But we got home from, didn't grow so, so, well, so they're that. soft. Oh, okay. And, yeah, yeah. But they're sweet. How tomatoes, big they can get? Like your fist. Okay. They're really good. But tomatoes, if you put onions with the tomatoes. Yeah. Then it keeps the bugs away. Oh. And the marigolds. Yeah. Then when you put marigolds with your tomatoes. Yeah. The um, the marigolds let off a scent that the bugs don't like. Okay, okay. We're just learning these things now. Wow. Because we don't like to put pesticides, we don't do pesticides. and things like that on it. We just like to do it organic. But when we went Which to Greece sense. in 2015, no, 17, everybody had gardens. And we yeah. thought, oh, we need our own garden. So now we... We love it. Yeah, and growing tomatoes, your own food, yeah. Yeah, and tomatoes, it gets really hot back here in the summer, so yeah. the tomatoes do really well. Wow. But tonight we'll have fresh Caesar salad. <laughs> Sounds great. So guys, I'm going to uh, spend a couple of days with uh, Michelle and Brent, and uh, I am so happy. We're so, going to take uh, them around, show them the beach. Okay. Maybe show them the mountains. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. But it's nice to have him here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so now, guys, we are going to show you the inside of the house. Wow. Oh, this is okay. Anthony. Hey, how are you? Good to meet you. This is cool. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Anthony. So, Anthony, can I tell you? No. He's mm -hmm. the one that we met in Spain, in Barcelona. Yeah. In 2019, who does the Jumps travel documentary. Okay. He's traveling around the world Sweet. since 2013. Yeah. Very cool. I'm having a YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Yes. Sweet. Very yeah. cool. And, uh, You're welcome. He Thanks so much. Yeah. was in LA. Every time I come here in the US, I am struggling a lot with the food. I've now been here for almost 20 days and to be honest, I've been eating really unhealthy. So I am not really sure what to do and how to feel about that, but I can see also that my skin is changing a lot. So I need to find a solution. But here is very difficult, you know, to find some good food. Like I said, if you want to eat healthy, you need to put uh, the price for it, you know, and uh, it can easily get out of pocket. So, uh, yes, since I got here, I've been eating a lot in uh, 7-Eleven and also some uh, very bad food like pizza or some, uh, you know, like some fast food. And I'm not really happy about that. So I am feeling bad a little bit and I need to find a solution about that. So please guys, let me know if you do have a solution for me, I will be glad. Yes, I am currently uh, staying at uh, Michel and Brent place. And well, you know, luckily I am going to uh, eat some uh, good food. So for the next couple of days, but uh, yeah, 
once I go back to uh, LA, I should definitely find a solution about what I am eating because also my teeth are getting very bad, you know. So, guys, this is always the struggle I am facing when I come to the US because, you know, when I was in Peru or Africa, it's very easy to find some food outside and also some organic and fresh food. So this is what I'm having for breakfast, guys. Very yummy and also very different from the 7-Eleven. So I definitely give a thanks to Michelle and Brent. And uh, yes, and later on, guys, we are going to uh, take you around Santa Barbara so I am looking really forward to it so this was Fez in the Medina the musicians and I don't think you're supposed to take photos of them but I oh. I kind of take was taking and he turned and looked so I took anyways <laughs> and when was that in which year this was in 2019 2019 2019 the year I met you yeah <laughs> And then this was the same in the Medina in Fez, which I love with the lighting. And How the, do you like Morocco? I love Morocco. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful country. What do you like the most about Morocco? Um, I love the, the culture, yeah. the, the architecture, yes. the food, the people. I love everything about it. I love that it's old. It's like you're stepping back in yeah, back history, in, the, in time. Back in the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so and Fez especially because there's no when you're in the Medina there's no cars allowed so it's just people and donkeys. Yeah. Yeah, and then this was also in Fez. Did you see the tannery in uh, in Fez? The what? The tannery. tannery. Oh yes, the tannery. Yeah. yeah, I have pictures of that too, but nothing blown up. Yeah. Wow. And so this was in Fez. I love your picture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nice. And then this. And you bought it in uh, Morocco. This was well. in bought in Morocco too. Yeah, we bought a lot of carpets. We bought twenty. Twenty. <laughs> wow. Because I kept finding and I couldn't let them go. I was yeah. Like, oh, this one, this one, and so now I have them stacked. Like this was from Essa Weira. From Essa Weira. From... I never been to Essa Weira. Oh, Essa Weira is beautiful. Okay. That's Essa. Oh. This is Essa. Yeah. Essa is on the coast. The Moroccan, they, they built Essa. It uh, was a defensive uh, city yeah. because it's if you go from Marrakesh directly to the ocean, yeah. west, uh -huh. you hit Essa Wira. And so that, that, it's a beautiful old Medina. Yeah. Yeah, you find Medina all over Morocco mm -hmm. in every city. Yes. Such a nice place. And eh? then this was also, this is Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Do you so like you, it? I love it. Well, yes. I mean, it's, it's busy. <laughs> yeah. But um, and you can't you can't take photos of people from the face. Yeah. So I have a lot of photos from people walking from behind the them okay. because then they don't they don't know wow. because I think they say it's uh, if you take a photo of them you're taking part of their soul. Oh, their spirits, yeah. Their spirits. So I have a lot of photos from the behind. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But I have I have many photos. I just yeah. don't have very many up. Yeah. And then these are just what um, kind place. of postcards that I picked up in throughout Morocco. And that was? This is actually Begur. This is northern Spain. Okay. Um, this is northern Spain. And then these we bought. It. I bought these postcards in Tangier, actually. We are having a little tour, a little tour. of the house. <laughs> yeah, laundry. Of, uh, Michel and Brent. Okay, the laundry. And then this cool. is our, our room. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, our little... Moroccan room. Yeah. With our more rugs <laughs> from Morocco. Wow. It's fun. And then this I got in Wazazet. In Wazazet. In Morocco. Okay. Yeah, so I have all my little Moroccan stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and my pillow. I got in Istanbul last year. Oh, wow. Do you like Istanbul? Yes, a lot. So, what do you like the most? Morocco or Turkey? Oh, it's gosh. a difficult question, eh? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Turkey is better as a woman because I can yeah. wear yes. sleeveless. Yeah. 
Um, and Morocco okay, it's a bit more conservative, yeah? Yes. Okay. But gotcha. Morocco is just, I don't know, Morocco is, it's, it's wonderful. It, it kind of gets under your skin, you yeah. know? But I did love Turkey a lot too, so. Oh, I was about to say maybe you should go to Iran. I don't think we can go there. Now. Yeah, I think it's more difficult. It's difficult as an American. But, so. Yeah, but Iran should be a yeah. very nice place. Yeah. Yeah, and then this, so in this photo was taken in the Wadi Rum Desert in Jordan. Oh, well, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, we went out to the desert. Yeah, and then this looks out to the backyard <laughs> where you are. Okay, yes. State Street, which is Santa Barbara's High Street. This is retail and art. We're going to the Arts District. Right behind us now is the Granada Theater, a be beautiful old refurbished theater that was originally made for opera and things like that back in the the 20s and 30s and 40s. And now we're gonna head to the left here to an, a historic building called the Santa Barbara Courthouse, which was... Oh, wow. So this is downtown Santa Barbara. Downtown Santa Barbara. Right. Art museum and bookstores and our library, all of which are recently remodeled. So it, shows very nicely right now. Yeah, it's yeah. For, it looks nice, for, eh? Yes, for two years it's been funded by construction, right? Here. Excellent timing to come visit. <laughs> so, the, this building... so guys, we are crossing yeah. Santa Barbara. Wow. So this is like a church or...? Which? No, yeah. library. A library? Yeah, bibliothèque. Okay, bibliothèque, yeah. That's it. Wow. What are you here? Yeah. The courthouse. This is where Michael Jackson had his trial. Oh, really? Yeah. Why in Santa Barbara? Because, because he lived he in lives. Santa Barbara County. Oh, okay, okay, okay. About an hour above. above. He had his yeah. trial. And the trial was like for how many days? Months. 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 Months yeah. Yeah, something like that. Something crazy. And you got convicted or what? Did he get convicted? Yeah. I, honestly, I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, we'll go. So this is the Santa Barbara Courthouse, which is a national historic registered building uh, built in the late 20s, yes. 1920s. And it's um, probably our most beautiful building in Santa Barbara. And later we'll go inside. There's a historic courtroom that has murals of the history of California. Cool. And these are the gardens. The and during the summer, the they, they show movies. Uh, they, they set up a big screen and they have summer films. Wow. So we, people yeah. like to have weddings here. People like to have weddings here. It's such a beautiful spot. Okay. And then you can see the mountains. And then later we can go all the way up to the top, to the yeah. tower. Nice, eh? We can walk out. All right, guys. So we are now going to get lunch. Yes, we are. Yeah. So best under, it good, best yeah? underground Mexican restaurant in Santa Barbara, Rincon, <laughs> Taco, Taqueria Rincon Alteño. Oh wow, yeah. So they got some uh, tacos, burritos as well, yeah? Yeah, burritos. Wow. Uh, dos crispy asada. You don't want chicken, right? No, para mí sería un veggie burrito. Veggie burrito? Veggie sí. Wow, so this is what we are going to have for lunch, guys. Some uh, Mexican food. So where are we going, Michelle? We're going out back. Are they coming to me, So we are going to eat outside. Wow, what about? It's a little bit windy. Wow. So this is where we are going to have lunch, guys. <laughs> this is for us? No, no, no. Wow. All right. So where are we guys now? Ah, Stern's Wharf, Santa Barbara. 
This is <laughs> heading towards East Beach. This is West Beach that way and the harbor. Okay. The famous volleyball courts are at the end there. Yeah. Karch Karai and many other Olympians and AVP players grew up here and played. Oh wow. It's more of a tourist beach, but it actually is a nice beach for locals too. But locals don't come down here very often. So this is the Santa Barbara Courthouse. It's a National Historic Building, and it's designed after the buildings in southern Spain. Uh, it's Moorish design, so you can see all the beautiful tiles and the painted woodwork. Built in 29, and then we're going to go into the, mur the famous mural room, which is an old courthouse. But now our courtroom, now it's just for visitors, and it's the murals on the walls are the history of California. Oh, and there's a wedding going on right now, so I'll stop talking, but you can keep it going. Mm -hmm. See the whole, it's the history of the of the US here yeah? of California of, California. of this, region of, this California. region of California from, from the when and I guess it doesn't start with the Chumash but it should the Native Americans that were here yeah I think on the wall you're here no ah, yeah there we go it starts when the Franciscans built the missions yeah, there's 13 missions oh. there's 13 missions in California and the missions are all built to be one day's walk yeah. apart. So they start down San Diego and then they make their way up the coast. And who so. are those people? Uh, Cabrillo. Oh, they Yeah. Oh, the and the American. These are like, these are the two nations. So that's Cabrillo, the one who conquered this area. Yeah, okay. Then they met Americans, right, in the mid 1800s came over, so this was all part of Spain yeah. and then Mexico. Yeah, California. And then we took it as part of the Mexican American War. That's ours. So we're showing the beautiful Santa Barbara and the hills of the Santa Barbara, they call it the American Riviera. Oh, yeah. And it rolls all the way and wraps down around the city. And then down to the south, we have the ocean, and Montecito, and keep going, Los Angeles. And this is our beautiful town. And it's very windy today. <laughs> so this is uh, tuna puttanesca, so Italian food. We caught the, the tuna, the yellowfin tuna, on Saturday in Mexico at my good friend's birthday. Of course, our friend Anthony is, is a vegetarian, so his is broccoli, and then ours is a proper tuna puttanesca with some broccoli on the side. Wow. And to my Italian friends, I apologize for a little cheese on the tuna. I know it's not okay, but, <laughs> you know, what am I going to do? Mangia, yes? Yeah, mo bon appetit. Mangia. <laughs> Mangia. Guys, good morning from Santa Barbara. Today, I am with Brent. Good morning. <laughs> and he's going to explain to us how the voting system works in the US. Right, so we are only a week or so away from a big election. We have presidential elections every four years and then almost every year we have some kind of election, whether it's for local or other state or things like that. 
So in the state of California, you, we, you're allowed to ask for voting by mail, which allows you to fill out your ballot whenever you have time. So people that work a lot or people that don't have cars or transportation can fill it out at home and send it in. And instead of having to try to take time off for work or figure out how to go to the voting booths in the offices, which in most states there are a lot of those, but in some states they make it very difficult for people, especially people of color or poor people, to go vote. Oh, uh, really? Yeah? Yes. It, well, like which states, for example? It, in the south in the south yeah <laughs> yeah a lot of a lot of them in the south like alabama or uh, yes Al texas? alabama georgia uh, texas wow uh, they just they just make it hard and the the state the people that represent the people in the state in their state congresses make laws that make it difficult to vote which is in my opinion still today yeah? still today wow yeah Still today, yeah, because that's how they stay in power. Okay, okay. Right, if people that would vote against them can't vote, then yeah. they get to stay in power. Whoa! So in California, it's a progressive state, so where we can vote by mail. There's a lot of people that say that oh, it might be fraud and all the rest of it. There has been no proof of any fraud in voting in the United States, pretty much. In, But it seems like it can be fraud, no? Yeah, but how you they. they <laughs> they, they they all have barcodes and yeah, there's sure. yeah. so you send this to yeah, where so, you, after? so you fill you fill this out yeah. right you choose who you want for president senate the the state representative okay. right? and for those of you that don't know how it works every four years we vote for president uh, each state has two senators that's the upper house of congress so where there's equal representation so every state has two and then The state representatives, so our what we call Congress, the House of Representatives is based on population. So in California, we have the most yeah. uh, state representatives, and then the the, the smaller, less popul populous states have less. So, yeah, sure. um, and then we have the same thing by state. So in same California, thing. you have state senators, and we call our Congress the Assembly, and then there's a bunch of other local school boards, things like that, and then on the back we have. Propositions. So these are changes like this one here. I need glasses to read. Yeah. This one here is saying, hey, we should raise the minimum wage, right, from to seventeen dollars. So oh, I don't for one me. hour. Yeah, for one hour. Okay. Right? But then other ones are. So you can say yes or no. Obviously. Yes. So you can say yes or no. So and then some of these are bonds. So bonds is is allowing the government to borrow the local governments or the state governments to borrow money. But then what they do is people that own property they make they add the cost of these bonds onto the property taxes. And does each state have the same uh, law? Or is different? No, of? so no. This would all of this is just California, local, just for California, oh, wow. or just for Santa Barbara County. Okay. But so the 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 raising of the minimum wage would just be for California. Okay, so okay. you could go to another state and it could be something different. Okay. There is a federal minimum wage also, but California's would be higher because it's a more expensive state yeah, to sure. live in is generally. And what is the federal minimum wage? Oh, oh my goodness. Maybe I, 15, no? I think 15. When my first job washing, washing dishes <laughs> in a restaurant was, I think I got paid $2.15 an hour. $2? Yeah, and 15 cents an hour in the oh, 1980s. Two dollars. Yeah, two dollars. Yeah, oh, washing right. dishes. It's nothing, right? No. Not much, yeah, right? you have to work hard in America. <laughs> <laughs> and nowadays it's about like 15, no? I think Two so. Days, yeah. yeah, I think wow. so. And then they, for they're trying to raise it to 17 and 18 dollars. What do you think? An hour. Yeah, it, you you have to live. I I have. <laughs> I have friends that own restaurants and they can't even find people to work in some cases for even $20 an hour. So oh. the capitalism is a system that, that generally works, but it, if you have to pay more, yeah. to, uh, if you need somebody to work for you and people won't work for you for what you're offering, then you have to raise what you want to raise. Yeah, sure, sure, right? sure. Makes but, sense. But by the same token, if you, you're trying to make money, right? Yeah. It's your business, you're trying to feed your family. You, you want to pay as little as you can so you have leftover money at the end of the day. Gotcha. Right? Restaurants are hard. The margins are very skinny yeah. in restaurants. So that's 
that's sort of the way that you you have to fill it out perfectly. If you do all kinds of silly stuff, then it won't count. Okay. And uh, that was thing, eh? Yeah. Then you take it and you fill it out, and then you have to sign. Yeah. Right. So you have to, and there's signatures on file. I don't think they match. I don't know that they look or don't look, but there's barcodes. And, and then you mail it too. Yeah, and then you mail it. Yeah, you just you don't even have to put a stamp on it. So oh, you can mail way. it or you can drop it off. There are voting drop boxes. Like yesterday when we went to the county courthouse. Yeah, correct. That's a place that you right across the street. You can just there's a box to wow. drop it off. Yeah. All right, so, guys. So, so this is how the voting system work in the U.S. Yes, and and what we say is if you don't vote, you can't bitch. So no <laughs> complaining if you don't vote. Yeah, okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> so go vote, guys, okay?